Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to make 3D text in Final Cut Pro 10. It's easy. I'll show you the seven essential steps and my go-to hack for cinematic titles. I'm gonna share with you how to convert any text into 3D text. And then I'll show you how to use the built-in presets. Next, we'll dive in deep with 3D text properties. Then I'll show you the lighting, material, and substance mistakes to avoid when creating 3D text. And then at the end, I'll show you a very simple hack that will make all of your titles look cinematic. If you've already got some text set up how you like it, you can convert it to 3D text really easily. That way you won't lose any sort of animations or customization you've done. Select the clip in the timeline and then select your text. Go to the text inspector and then scroll down to where you see 3D text. Just check that box and your text is now 3D. Pretty cool, huh? And you can see it by changing the depth here. You can see it getting more 3D. I'll show you the 3D text properties in detail, but first I wanna show you some easy built-in presets you can use. Go up to Titles and you'll see at the top these categories, 3D and 3D Cinematic. And in each of those, you'll see a handful of pre-built 3D animation presets. Let's take a look at a few. These are great because they come animated, ready to go for you. And they're already 3D. This Rotate and this Tumble one are really good at showing off the 3D properties. And of course, there's also some cinematic 3D titles that you can use to up your production value. And they're really easy to update. Check it out. Just select the title, then select your text, and add your own text. And just like that, you have a custom 3D cinematic title. I really like this tumble preset. So let's build off of that. I'm gonna put it in my timeline right here. And I'm just gonna tweak a few things. I'm gonna change the duration. I'm also going to change the text, what it says. I'm gonna change the font as well. And I wanna space this out just a little bit. 3D text has some special on-screen controls. There are these green, red, and blue arrows and that changes your position. You can use it to move up, left and right, and then the blue is in 3D space or Z space. These three circles are for rotating. So I wanna move this down a little bit, out of the way, and I want to rotate a little bit. So I wanna rotate it this way, so I'll grab, I'll hover over this circle and then click and drag like so. I'm gonna move it up and then I'm gonna use the red arrow to move it over a little bit more in the center. There we go. You can also change the position and rotation using these parameters in here. And you'll notice that these have changed as I use the on-screen controls. They're connected together. Scroll down to the 3D text properties and let's take a look at those. If you don't see them, just click on the show button here. The first one is depth. That is how deep the 3D text is. Use that slider to make it bigger or smaller 3D text. I wanna go right around 50 on this. You can also change the depth direction. So do you want the, if, if it's on centered, then the depth will change from the middle and go back and forward. If it's backward, that means the depth will change from front to back. And if it's forward, that means the depth will change from back to front, like so. Weight is how thick the letters are. We can make them real skinny to where they disappear, or we can make them huge. Front edge and back edge allows you to change the style and the look of the edge. Let's try ridge. It's kind of hard to see, but there's some ridges there on the text. If I increase this, you'll start to see it better. Look at the E. Do you see the ridge there? 
I can also select the back edge to be the same as the front or something completely different. For this example, I want to use round. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. Close up 3D text and show the lighting parameters. Light adds shadows and highlights to your text and you can change the location of the lighting using lighting style. Let's take a look at a couple. Notice how it changes the shadows and the highlights on the text. I want to match this to the what we see here. We're out in the sun. So I'm going to put it back to just standard. You can also control the intensity of it. You can make it really bright or you can make the light source really dim. Go down to environment and click on show. I want you to imagine that your text, it is somewhere and there is something around it, right? The text doesn't exist in a vacuum, but there's something around it and that environment is around it and the letters reflect that environment. And there's lots of different types you can select from. Right now we're in a field and so we're reflecting this image. Imagine this image is wrapped around the text and the text is right in the center. You can see when we select the colorful one that it's reflecting those colors from it. Or maybe it's in a studio with all these lights on it. I'm going to go back to filled. I think that fits well with what we're doing here. And of course I can turn the intensity down if I want or I can keep it up. I can adjust the intensity of the environment to get different looks. And then there's a few other options here to help me customize the look of the environment. Now let's take a look at the material, what the 3D text is actually made of. Your 3D text has a front, a back, and it has sides. And you can have all of that made out of the same material, or you can select multiple and you can make the sides different material from the front, and you can make the back different from them as well. For this example, I'm gonna stick with something simple. I'm gonna go back to single, click on the material, and you'll see a bunch of preset materials built into Final Cut. We've got concrete, we've got different kind of metals, Ooh, that gold looks nice. We've got plastic. We've got rock and stone. And we've got wood as well. There's a lot of different presets. And these are great starting off points to make your own custom looking 3D text. I'm going to go back to basic and I'm going to tweak this. Right away you can see I can change the color down here. I'll click on the color picker. And I have a color that I like that I'm going to use. This looks kind of like uh, the ocean a little bit. I think it matches well. And of course, I can also change it to gradient if I want. We can also change the type. We can have it shiny or just a matte. It doesn't reflect as much. Or we can even go textured. I'm going to go back to shiny. We can also change the substance right here. Right now it's on plastic. We can go up and select concrete or metal or stone or wood or any of those that I showed you before. But I want to keep it at plastic. We can also add layers. A substance layer is what the 3D text is made of. It's its base material. Paint is like adding a layer of paint on top of that. Finish is adding like polish or enamel on top of that. And then we can also add distress layers, which are scratches and dents to make it look like it's maybe breaking down or it's degrading. Emit is a layer that makes it look like the text is emitting some light. Let's add a stains layer to this text. Right away you can see it's given it a different look. It's made it look kind of dirty, right? You can also change the order of these layers to get different looking effects. We have different stains that we can choose from, and we can turn down the opacity of the stains. 
We can also use these parameters to decide where the stains are on the text and their position, their size, and rotation. I like it how it is, so I'll just leave it. Let's add a couple more distress layers to make it look like it's been banged up and kicked around a little bit. Let's add scratches and let's add some dents. You can see the text is now looking more worse for the wear. I want to tweak these just a little bit. Scratches, I want not so many. I'm going to use scratches three and I'm going to turn down the depth on that a little bit so they're not so obvious and dense. I also want to go, let's try dense five. Oh no, that's too much. Let's try dense three. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And I'm gonna turn down the depth on that as well. Let's check out what we made. Oh yeah, it flies in like so, looks kind of beat up and then it flies away. Looks pretty good, right? That's how to make 3D text in Final Cut Pro. Now that you know how to make 3D text, I wanna show you how to animate text. I made another video called How to Make Animated Text in Final Cut Pro. Go ahead and click here to check it out.